Hi, in this video I'm going to review and show you how you can apply the Cruelan HD Micro Foundation the Mattifying Liquids. And my name is Melissa van Dijk, I'm a professional and passionate makeup artist and I'm going to start off with the skin types because not everyone can use mattifying foundations, which is like extremely tricky if you have extremely dry skin, have a flaky skin as well as dry patches because then it can grab on it. But if you have like a slightly bit of a drier skin type as well as combination normal to oily skin types you're also good to go to use the foundation all what you need to do is prepare your skin the right way so that it also will give you a smooth application now I have a decent combination skin but because the weather is getting colder I have a bit more of a drier skin type but I still can make it work all what I need to do is prepare my skin well and as this is also a silicone based foundation it is also important that if you're going to use a primer that you're also using a silicone primer underneath to get the best result. Now I'm going to start off with moisturizing my face so I'm going to take a moisturizer that's suitable for the skin type so make sure that you're doing this as well so that you will achieve the best finish and then just gently apply it all over your face. So and once the moisturizer is on and you want to use a primer then you can also now move on to the primer. So the one that I'm going to use is also a silicone based primer so that I'm making sure that it also will give me a beautiful finish at the end. And this primer definitely will smoothen the skin as well as also makes it look a little bit softer. So I'm going to take a few drops on my hand and then also applying it on my face. And now once the primer is on, we can move on to the foundation. Now with the foundation, I have to say, as it is a matte foundation, it definitely isn't a liquid foundation like um, as you know it from like certain full coverage foundations or dewy foundations. This one has actually like a whipped mousse texture, which is also very similar to any uh, mousse foundations that normally come in a jar. The difference is this one comes out of a tube, but it still has a very like... Um, yeah, like a mousse-like finish, because if you're going to squeeze some out, you definitely will see that it looks like a whipped cream. So it's definitely not going to, um, like, it's definitely not that liquidish so that it's going to run around, but it just will give you a beautiful and skin-like finish. The shade that I'm using is for 30, and also the price of the foundation is around 35 US dollars, which is also around in, like, in the 20 euros. So I personally find that it's a little bit more expensive if you're having the US dollars, uh, rather than having a look at the German website where you can get it like definitely a bit cheaper so this is also something that I wanted to point out and now the best tool I personally find to apply the mattifying like foundation is by using a brush or your fingers as it has like this whipped texture so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip into it with the brush and then applying it evenly all over the face
So this is definitely a foundation that will give you a sheer to medium coverage, depends on how much product you are using, but it won't give you the full coverage like um, layer because it is meant to give you a skin-like looking finish, not meant for a makeup looking finish, which is also really important to notice because if you're going to use too much of this foundation, it will look strange on the skin and it's going to like give you a strange texture which you don't want as it then it won't look smooth again. So what's also important to know is that this foundation is very suitable for people that just want to apply a slightly layer of foundation where they would say like a tinted moisturizer is not enough but a foundation or full coverage foundation is most of the time too much. This is also a really nice in between and this is also how I would recommend it to you guys. If you want to be quick in the morning, if you want to only apply a bit of foundation but not a full face of makeup then this is also the right foundation for you as it works so well and as I mentioned using a brush or your fingers will give you a beautiful application. For me personally I find that using a sponge will give you a strange like layer on the skin well this is how I experienced it so that's why I'm going to stay away with this foundation with the sponge but I also didn't notice anything that's going to oxidize on my skin it didn't change the color on my like face after some uh, like time which also can happen but with this one I hadn't had any issues with it didn't break me out I have no allergic reactions to it and it also will give you a beautiful matte but still soft looking finish and it looks like skin and not like makeup and what's also really important to know is that if you're going to use this foundation you don't need to set this one as it's going to set itself so once you have applied it and just give it some time to like settle down into your skin it's going to dry on its own and then it's also getting a bit more transfer proof and you don't have to worry about uh, like um having like or well, that it's going to run down your face or whatsoever what i would recommend is that if you're going to use concealer which i haven't done today because i want to keep the focus on the foundation then i would recommend you using the concealer in any case this can be liquid or cream before you're going to apply this foundation because otherwise it can give you a strange texture just because of the mousse finish and so this wouldn't work like as smooth together so it's really important that you're using the concealer beforehand and now with that being said i mean this is what i wanted to show you this is how the coverage will be you can build it up a bit more than i use today but i personally find that this way it will give me a better finish and also feel very like very comfortable and also skin like with this foundation so I personally, all in all, really like this foundation. It gives you a beautiful finish. You don't have to set it. It's quick. So you can like do it in the morning and then go to work, which is also great to save some time. Now, with that being said, this is what I wanted to share with you guys. I definitely would recommend this foundation for you as it just does such a great job. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well, as well as share this video. And thank you so much for your support. As this is an independent channel and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!